welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Chris and... I'm Christy. It's the Chris and Christy channel. Um, a little bit of news before we get into our review. Um, we're well over 600 subscribers, which that's a little, mi little milestone for us. And also, it seems that one of our, uh, our first video actually has been uh, getting a, a lot of views lately uh, here within the last tw last tw uh, 24 hours. Um, someone sent me an email saying, hey, is it, is it okay if I share your video? I said, yeah, it's fine. But I, I didn't know it was going to go to the extent to what it is now. Uh, last time I checked, it's over 1,000 views. Um, so I don't know who this person share, uh, shared it to, but it's out there. But thank you very much. We yeah, really to, who, to whoever it. did it. Thank you. Um, we're going to be getting into our review today. And it is a ham radio. This is the Beofong. It's the BF-F9V2+. Plus. Uh, it's a really nice um, radio. Uh, it's got all the FRS channels in it. It's got the GMRS channels. Um, some LFD channels. Uh, PMR, MURS, M M um, MURS. Uh, blue dot, green dot, marine channels, uh, tack channels, which you can find those if you're lucky enough to. Uh, local fire departments, police departments, um, medevac, uh, the jail, um, a lot of ambulance services, uh, air cares. Um, security at a lot of different malls and stores. In which, if you ever go to Walmart, by the way, and you can't find nobody to help you, if you have Blue Dot, um, I think it's Blue Dot or Green Dot. Might, it might be Green Dot. If you have that, you can contact them and say, hey, customer needs assistance in aisle whatever. And I'll be dang if they, they won't send them to you. To like show them the whole thing. Oh yeah, thing. yeah. Well, it's got a bigger uh, battery than what comes with it originally. It's got an extended battery on it. Usually, it looks like this. Looks like a little mini radio. But um, you can get any type of a um, antenna. I have one that comes all the way up to here. Uh, but I like this one when I'm wearing, I'm wearing it on my belt. You know, it gets pretty decent range. Now, this is a transceiver and receiver, which means you can receive as well as, tra as transmit. But uh, the, ham the ham channels, you cannot tr transmit on them unless you have a, li a license to do so. You can listen... But you can't legally transmit. Um, the public safety channels, like your police department, um, don't, don't fire department, those. EMS, uh, don't really mess with those because, I mean, you could mess with, you know, people getting life-saving help. Um, you, there is the ability to talk to them on these radios. There is the ability. If you tr turn it on and you hit you hit the button and you say something on that channel, they're going to hear it. I guarantee it. Now if you need, like, help and you happen to have it. Yeah, there are certain cir uh, circumstances where if you... If you have a radio like this, let's say you have your local... Ooh, sorry. Your local fire EMS or police on here if you're in the emergency situation you don't have a phone that works and you really do truly need help you can mark up and you can you can use it to call for help and that radio is not really on is it no it's not on i have it off uh you can all it also has a lot of power it has a high power mode 
So that's what makes it a little bit different from all the little cheap Beofun um, Chinese radios. Is this one has a high power mode. Up to, I think it's 8 or 10 watts. Okay. And when you're using this for FRS, for family radio service, or GMRS, it's going to reach really, really, really far. Um, it's really cheap to get a, G, a GMRS license. It's only tw tw uh, 20 bucks for a lifetime. Like I said, it's cheap to get, so... I mean, you can, and, I th and I think you could probably get like a weather service if you're. Yeah, you can also get the weather if you service. Have a tornado coming, but you're down in the basement instead of in front of the TV, and your power goes out. That'd be useful to have. In fact, I'm gonna see if um, I can find it for you. Hang on. If your car breaks down, it'd be useful. It does have FM radio also. Well, I turn off the music. Yeah. So, I mean, it's got FM radio on it as well. So, I mean, if you need to use it to see what's going on, see what the news is, see if there's any type of emergency or anything like that, you know, these things go for about, uh, this version is a little bit more on the high, the high side. Because of what it can do. Um, so about 70 bucks maybe. Uh, most bear fungs, you can get them cheap. Like 20, 30 bucks a pop. It to them. Yeah, I am. I'm going to tell them some information on it. Um, okay. Uh, the BFF9 V2 Plus is the next level of ham radio. Improving on the top of the line UV5R V2 Plus. With the addition of tri-power functionality. This includes an unsurpassed transmission power of 8 watts as the most impressive. Okay, sorry about that. We uh, ran out of uh, some video space on the phone, so had to delete some stuff. Um, anyway, we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, it says it has an expanded frequency range like the UV82 and a new chipset with noise reduction features that block out noises caused by signal intensity changes. Uh, it's the most powerful and versatile Beofung to date. It has transmitting power selectable up to 8 watts. It is full, fully backward compa uh, compatible with all... Um, accessories and it's got a ton of features and functionalities up to 128 memory channels um, it's a pretty neat little radio um, let's see what the uh, frequency is 400 megahertz to 520 megahertz. Uh, that's for UHF. VHF is 136 to 174 megahertz. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, I don't think civilians can have these because I'm not really seeing anything for sale. I think they stopped selling these to civilians a while back. So if you were, were lucky enough to get your hands on them, there may still be some. Um, let me see if Amazon's got them. Don't quote us because we don't know if they're still for sale or not. But, I mean, I n remember my my husband telling me that, you know, they don't want civilians having these types of radios for certain reasons because they interfere with help and stuff. Actually, they got them on Amazon, but they're a little bit pri a little bit pricey. They're pricey on Amazon. They are um, ninety. Yeah, ninety. So they're, and that's not even including that's not including uh, shipping. So, so they'll be about a hundred. So they'll be like ninety one eighty nine. Or up, up, 
upwards to a, a hundred bucks at least. No, not a hundred bucks. With shipping? Ninety one ninety nine. With shipping? Ship shipping is about six or seven bucks. But Amazon has a limit. Like if you if you spend more than fifty bucks, it's free shipping. Uh, sometimes to, I think I'm not trying to contradict you, but I know Amazon. Like if you yeah, you might like be right. Hang forty five dollars, it's free shipping. So it says here if you get get it to get together with the uh, the cord you're going to need to program it plus a larger antenna. You're looking at $143. So if you want to get all the stuff that you need extra to pro to program it and to be able to really use it, you're looking at close to 150 I mean, they're useful, but they're very expensive. I don't even know how we got it. And a, a lot of my other people in my groups and my uh, network, we have these radios, so we have the ability to talk to talk to each other and there's I'm not going to say where or how but um there's certain uh what are they called repeaters that you can bounce off of when they're not being used or monitored if you catch my drift but um yeah I mean depending on where you live you know there may be some re some repeaters that you can bounce off of um, if they're not being monitored at all, you know, you, you might be safe. I'm not advocating you go out and, you know, talk over a, re, a repeater. It's important to get the, the okay from them at least first to bounce off the, re, the repeater. Which, in most cases, you can ask people and if they have a, re, a repeater or a business. I mean, most of the time, they'll tell you if... It's not being used if it's a week a weekend or if it's not being utilized by their com their company. They don't care if you use it. You know, just just ask them. Just say, hey, you know, when this is not being used by your company, is it okay if we, you know, talk over it and test our our, our radios out? I mean, it it's not a big deal to most. Some might make a bit a big deal about it, but I mean, for the most part. They're not going to care. Um, it is a really nice radio. Um, I've had mine for years. And I've never had any issues with it. Uh, it, w it works as good as the day as I bought it. You know back in like 2015, 2016. And it, it works terrific. I've had it for like five years. And it works great. So... Like I said, back then it was like 70 bucks, I think. So I think it's went up a little bit. For the most part, like she said, they don't want civilians getting their hands on these because they can be programmed. You can listen to the police. You can, like, I even was able to listen in on, like, the, the FBI doing op operations or SWAT, SWAT teams. You know, I mean, all you have to do is look up these codes online. Right. Basically the same, um, same radio, radios that most, like, EMTs and police use, so, I mean, I, just try not to mess with their channel, I think it would be safe to, like, have. Yeah, I mean, if you're just gonna listen to it just to see what's going on in your, na your neighborhood or whatever, you know, that's fine. You can listen to it, just don't interfere with the, you know, public safety band. Um, it's really cool though. I mean, if you get a ham, a, a ham license, it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not that expensive. You can get a ham license and fully operate them however you want. And I mean, there's di different levels of ham radio and different license, but Anything you want to add? I don't really... I don't know much about the radio, to be honest. Like, Chris never really talked about the radio with me. All I know is... It just plays music. 
and it's a police scanner. That's all I really know about I mean, it. back when I was on a fire department, I used to use it when I was on squad. So, I mean, like I said, I, I, I know for certain that you can key up on it. And it it it, it works. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I know for certain that it works for public band. That's why I said, you know, unless you have the explicit okay to use it, you know, try try not to, you know, mess with it or anything like that. And there is a button. It says call on it. I will tell you this much. If you are on a, pu a public band and you use this, if you hit that call button... It's going to automatically give your position away. Like where where exact, exactly you're at. They can triangulate you by you pu pushing that button. That call button. Like you just pretty much gave away your radio position. And and why it's there is because most poli uh, police officers don't really mention it. Or, e or EMTs, firefighters, but I'll tell you. If you ever see a cop, if he's at your home for whatever reason, and he's got his hand on his belt, and he's alone, and he feels threatened, he, he feels like the situation's bad, he's not going to get on his radio mic and radio for backup. If you watch him and he puts his hand on his radio and is pushing like this, guess what? He just put in a, a emergency SOS that he needs ba uh, backups in a silent way. So if he's pushing that button on his radio, he just told dispatch to send as many cars as they as they can to help to help him out. So just a little FYI out there for you know cops with, with radios. If they push that little orange button, they're calling for help, and it's going to be there quick. So, you know, just a little FYI for you. But, uh, like I said, when when it's being used like that, and you push that button, they have a way to triangulate your uh, your radio location, and they can pretty much narrow it down to a couple hundred feet of where you're at. So, pretty much, they're going to send more police officers or whatever to your location if a cop uses that radio or that type of radio. It's not just on the Bayer Fong. It's on Motorola's. It's on all the different ones like Daewoo. Oh, I think that, I think I, I butchered that. But anyway, um, any radios, if they have an orange button on it, a red button, that's a silent alarm, like, I need help. And they will send more more police officers. So, um, this radio is really nice. Like like I said, you could buy it for a scanner if you wanted to. I think it would be a little overkill for scanner. Because you can probably get a cheaper one and just, pro just, just program it to listen. But with the power boost on that, you know, you can use it as a ham radio. That's what it was intended for. And they don't like it because when China shipped them over here, they shipped them over here open. And they didn't have the frequencies closed on them. So now the police, fire, EMS, military. Well, I mean, I'm sure the military has more, you know, higher tech stuff than that. But anyway, the local police and fire departments do not like those. Because you can listen in to them and you have ways of you know, actually talking to them and you could mess with their, you know, radio system. You could, you know, could could cause a diversion or, you know, if somebody got on there saying, you know, hey, I need extra officers to this location, you know, officer down, blah, 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 whatever. You know, you're going to divert people from one area to another that would be kind of funny. And if somebody's doing some criminal activity out, out there, and they're wanting to divert police away from them, they could use these radios really easily and get the cops and whatever to go 
this way while they're over here doing whatever. But why would you give criminals ideas? Why are you saying all this? No, no. I mean, it's just to say that, you know, if these got into the wrong hands, you know, they would cause problems. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, you know, if they got into the wrong hands... Well, no criminal's going to be able to afford that. That's outrageous. And plus, I mean, you got to have a l little bit of tech savvy to, you know... It's not as easy as just plug and play to, you know, program these. There's some work to do with it. You have to go through, it's it's lay, laid out like a uh, Excel format. And you have to put the cha the channels in. You get you, you have to have, have some ele electronics knowledge to do it. It's not as easy as just plugging it in. Just picking which ones you want. I mean, you have to do, re do research. And most criminals don't have the time or the, pa the patience to do something like that. So, I mean, it's it's good for a scanner, it's good for an emergency radio, it's good for net for networking in case these things go down and don't work. I mean, it's, it's, it's something nice to have for an emergency or, or a grid down sit, situation. Also, I'd recommend if you are going to have them, if you're going to use them for that, put them in what's called a Faraday cage. Or you can build, can build one out of a... Um, al aluminum uh, tra uh, trash can and just put stuff in there like r radios, radio equipment, batteries, stuff that you don't want zapped by an EMP. Um, but that's about it for this video. Um, hope you enjoy. Um, thanks for all the views, subscribers. Um, we enjoy it. We enjoy talking to you guys and getting the information out there. So, yes, definitely help our YouTube channel grow and get us more views, get us more subscribers. And, and actually, if you like look, oh, sorry. interaction. But yeah, I was about to check it right now. But if you go to our first YouTube video, that is the one that's somehow going. Uh, we'll tell them the name. Like, so vi like viral. One. Yeah. It was a ar argument at Menards over a face mask. And right now, currently, let me look at it. Let's see how many views it's gotten. 1,127 views in the last 24 hours. Plus the almost a hundred and something that it already had on it. So, so somehow, some way, this video got shared a lot. That's a good thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we better wrap up this video. Um, we need to get to bed. We'll see you in the yeah. next video. So, God bless you all. God bless America. Bye. Bye.